Here is a local nonprofit making sure kids get pumpkins for Halloween. And thank goodness for that, yes. Marty. Tell us where you are this morning. Well, first off, happy birthday, Cena. You know for a fact we're going to be singing here at some point this hour. Oh. Uh, and uh, <laughs> good morning, everyone. Uh, Meg, good morning to you, uh, Tim. Uh, everyone, it's a beautiful morning. I hope you're doing well. Rick Bernstein, the founder of First Fruits Farm. We were here early on in the now elongated history of WJZ and now with Where's Marty. Basically give them the 30-second version of what First Fruits Farm is. First Fruits uh, is a Christian ministry. We grow food, give food away in Jesus' name. And our byline is grow more, give more, serve more. And we're talking how many acres here? A little over 200, about 2.5 two million pounds of produce uh, distributed all over the Mid-Atlantic free of charge. The idea is to end hunger. But we're out here on National Farmers Day for a re not only is it na not only is it National Farmers Day, it's Cena's birthday. Have I pointed that out? Yes, you did. But we are going to sing it. Did I, did I mention we're going to sing at some point? No this worries. Hour? Okay, done deal. <laughs> uh, because you have grown how many pumpkins this year? We figured it's just about 7,000 pumpkins out here. They're organized in piles of about 100. And we have two different types, field trip, which are the little ones, Marty, for field trips, and, uh, and larger ones called mammoth. But these are going to charity. And when we tell you the deep story of the charity, it's going to warm your heart. This man is a hero. We'll throw it back to you. We, he is a hero. Absolutely. I can't, you got to have a pumpkin mm -hmm. on Halloween. So Indeed. It's amazing that they're doing that. 